Oh, let's see if I can read. Ah. <laughs> Hello, Leos. Welcome to Angie Blog. Thank you for letting me read for you for the month of February. I hope you're doing good. I'm sending you so much good vibes, okay? Uh, I'm also feeling this really fiery energy, Leo, you know, like trying to like, ah, you know, it's like, ah. <laughs> so I guess this month of February is going to be like, that was probably my feel like that. Take it how it resonates. I also, I want to invite you also that if you want to extend, uh, look at uh, the extend reading of, not necessarily this, it, there's a timeless reading, but in the description below, I just made uh, recently the month, the reading for um, each sign earth fire air and water so check your birth chart maybe one of those can, might resonate with you and if you feel called to it then more than welcome uh, these are the extended readings for the month of february and march okay so also guys thank you so much for your like comments and subscribes thank you thank you thank you thank you for new subscribers welcome welcome uh, yeah, so thank you so much for your support and the donation. It really helps out. And also, you know, it's like a sin energy when you like the videos right away. It's like, you know, I can pick up your energy so that I, all the readings that can, you know, can be about, you know, your situation or something like that. But also it it's like it pops into other people's uh, feed so that other people can find this message. Okay, so it's a nice sin energy. So thank you so much. All right, so let's get into it, Leos. I usually, you know, sage and stuff like that because, I don't know, you know, you just have to clean your energy and your space, right? Especially, like, you don't know other people's intentions and their, you know, thoughts and negative things, projections that you don't, you know, you're, we're all divinely protected, but it does, you know, we're still human flesh, right? And trauma and things can get stuck you know and other people's things you know at least for those who are very highly sensitive and paths and stuff like that so that's why we are constantly you know self-care self-bath really cleansing ourselves with sage and stuff like that or palo santo you know keeping um good vibes right and also working on that balancing to keep the pure heart right because that's what we're trying to get into it to that connect this connection <laughs> unity back into oneness right i don't know why i felt like saying that but let's get into it <laughs> all right Leo, let's check out your energy for the month of february angels and assistants i just want life protect us from anything for evil intentions or negative energies come back to us and back to center 10 times fold and so it is I'm hearing you got the best of me I don't know why I don't know this song <laughs> I probably never heard of it but I've been doing it's been happening a lot like the songs just keep popping in my head I guess when you start working on your intuition and nurturing and you know and doing this type of work you know you really um i really in tuned and being less fearful about believing in your own capabilities and talents and gifts and not give a fuck what other people are saying right i don't know why i felt like saying that too leo so i guess you're yeah <laughs> building blocks yay all right I feel like with this type of energy right now, it's like you really are taking your time to not skip ahead or anything like that. You really are working on each step, on like you, you know, and also like I feel like you're also working on being like present into certain situations. But let's see what's going on. Spirit was with the building blocks. Okay, not for you. Never ending story. Okay, are we dealing with something? Yeah, never ending story, not, not for you. 
the other readings of, uh, I think is Pisces Cancer. Uh, one of these might also resonate with you guys. So check your birth chart, maybe in your 10th house or 8th house, 9th house. You know, and also if you're like manifesting, you want to manifest new things, especially when you're realizing that something it's just not for you. Uh, it's probably a karmic cycle that, and I think this is what the building bless comes about. It's like you're building something out of new or yeah, building your inner peace. A lot of us are in this right now, like really learning to maintain and protect our peace. Not a lot of us, it's uh, not a lot of us, they're saying, yeah, two pixels, but in reverse. To be fair, yeah. They're saying a lot of us, yeah, they're saying there's not a lot of connection in this for you, Leos. Something it's not, uh, it's not being fair. There's some lies and manipulations here, especially if you're building something out of out of nothing but they're saying that whatever thing situation is not for you there's something better that it will bring you more peace more um, to the C in reverse 7 coming to the edge okay we're gonna confirm with tarot but I also feel like there's a lot of emotion here I feel like you guys invested so much emotional, spiritual, mentally, a lot into something. And it's just it's just not for you. You're just realizing this now. In February, this is kind of the realization. And also, you know, it's an act of self-love too, to um, really see things for what they are and accept them and heal and move on from it, right? karmic cycle that you're working so yeah it's not easy breaking generational curses okay or something oh expect a message <laughs> somebody might be sending you guys a message um perhaps maybe after the situation um or they could be that that you might get an offer or something really not good for you and it might come through a text message, email, or something like that. So watch out for that. Use your intuition, okay? Use the sermon as well. Yeah, I'm getting this energy where somebody, somebody is actually doing the work, doing the right thing, and then there's another one that it's just not. There's this message or some someone wants to give you a gift or something like that in February, but you guys are like, someone's blocked. No, no place like home. Yeah, some of you are walking away from something like you know it's just not for you. Oh, you're walking into your soulmate. Or the person you think is your soulmate. Why? Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, because this other person, whoever you were, this karmic cycle was only bringing you conflict and chaos, right? So yeah, that's it. That's you. You know yourself, Leos. You know. But let's look into the tower and see what's going on. But I feel like this is something that you guys aren't understanding. Oh, three with thirty-six. Yeah, there's some type of separation or someone yeah you guys are waiting for your chips to sail or something you see with the blood yeah with the building blocks and the three of wands there's some seeds that you guys have planted and you have breaking up with some type of collaboration or community like you're uh, the two of wands is it's deciding something or waiting for something after you broke up this whatever job, community could be, marriage, relationship. Yeah, somebody's being blocked. Someone from the past. Oh, God, Jesus. Yeah, good for you. Gross, right there. Look at that. Yuck. There you go. Devil in reverse. It came out. Yeah, that's it. You're letting go of toxicity, toxic relationship, toxic things, obsessions, I'm hearing. 
uh, this person might have a, some type of obsession with you. Also with the seven in reverse, somebody is not really meant emotionally stable. Huh? So that's something that you guys are letting go by blocking this off, this past person, very balanced. It didn't bring you balance into this. It was very chaotic, right? So yeah, I feel like you guys now, oh my God. Okay. This line of cop, this offer, this person was very greedy, very materialistic, emotionally unstable again. Some of you are dealing with this. It could be abusive also verbally. Like they might have showed, think you might thought that you was like, oh, you know, this is somebody it's like, no, spirit's like, no, walk away. Or is guiding you guys to walk away from this. This is walking from rough water to calm waters, you know. So really listen to spirit and your intuition, okay? Especially if you're dealing with situations like this. You have the four swords in reverse. Someone's not healing, not working on themselves. I'm going to turn the sage. My sage, um, my incense, I mean. <laughs> It looks like we're getting into deeper waters. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, Leo, pretty intense uh, reading. Wow, I don't know what the hell you guys are dealing with, but holy fuck, not for you. I really like, I'm, it's like screaming with the six of swords and the six with not for you, okay? This might resonate with some people, it might not, but I'm telling you, whatever offer, shit, thing, anybody comes in or trying to offer you especially if it's a karmic cycle that is just repeating the same thing that they, they're not changing huh i'm just putting it out there and whatever situation that you let go of it was good for you there's somebody else something else something better okay you just have to be patient what's with the four source why are leos are, are leo doing the four source? oh Prison. Yeah, someone can be in a psychiatric facility. Prison. For trying to s prevent some type of connection or something, or someone really vindictive. They didn't. They didn't love them. They don't love themselves, man. Or yeah, preventing this King of Wands from his Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person is healing. This is for some of you. Someone is, has been stripped their divinity. Something that they have done, a karmic cycle or something. Or someone trying to trap you guys or some type of trap. It's not It's not a good thing, okay? When I see this, it's really, and also someone watching you guys. Could be that it could be watching you. Something needs to be healed here. Hmm. All right, Leos. Recently, we've been through some type of really toxic relationship, right? Now, we're healing and working on our stuff. So number one, some of you don't know about spiritual protection or something like that I'm hearing. And this is something that you need to understand, Leos, because you are a spirit here and you might have people who really, yeah, they're just, they're trying to trick you. There's some trap going on in February, okay? So I will be visioning with any type of communication coming in for you, okay? Somebody might be trying to trick you or something. This past lover, past something. Someone not protected by divine. Could be demonic entity, honestly. Yeah, someone doing black magic. See, I knew it. What the? See? Look at that. They don't want you to be happy with anybody, I'm hearing. If you're not happy with... Wow. If you're not with me, you're not with nobody. I will kill. Wow. This is psycho, man. Yeah, this is spirit telling you guys you have to walk away from this. This is someone mentally unstable. Huh? They have this really toxic obsession with you. So this might resonate with some people. This might not. You take it. You know your own story. But this is somebody very deceptive. Yeah. 
with the Ace of Pentacles. You have another offer though, a better one. But right now there's a person, yeah, you need to be protecting yourself or this person is completely going to be in serious trouble for doing this. But also this, yeah, there's some dark magic being done to stop your heart. And it went back. And that's why they're like probably in, in prison. But this is something that this person does over and over again. Like they are emotionally unstable. They are, you know, those spiritual manipulatives people. Like, you know, and if it's you in this energy, man, you reap what you sow. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, seeking counseling is important, especially if you can't control yourself or you're going through some type of depression. Some of you might be feeling this type of energy because you know of the lies in the section that you could have done in the past or somebody in, in your surrounding have done to you and stuff like that um so yeah this month is also a, this needs to be turned around okay you guys need to work on this on healing yourself your inner wounds especially this like yeah some of you are going through some type of deception there needs to be protection or something here perhaps you know new relationship new things don't tell anybody don't need to advertise it i feel like just protect your relationship your peace your mental health yeah someone's watching someone who lost lost you yeah there's some in, there's some justice coming in Again, the five of pentacles, a lot of you are grieving something that, you know, wasn't good for you. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? There was an injustice, right? And it needed to be broken down to bring you stability, happiness, perhaps a rebirth, you know, a new person, more passionate beginnings, more new things, you know what I'm saying? Some of you are still in that illusion and you know that young inner mentality which is okay but also it's not okay to be an emotional manipulated asshole and narcissistic abuser right it's not okay we're not doing that right now anymore we're cutting the shit off all your shit you need to heal yeah some of you because of your pride and ego you have lost somebody an empress like, they're not taking your shit. They know. An empress knows when someone... Because this is someone very empathetic and generous. And you guys took the... Yeah, you were juggling this person. Yeah, some of you Leos. Yeah, the divine is calling judgment on this. And it's... There's no communication, at least from this situation, I don't think. But a lot of you, I feel like you're going to be working on this, on dealing with this situation and looking at it from a different perspective. And then again, I'm hearing, let it go. I'm hearing, let go, let go. Like it's time to let go of things not good for you, especially if you're in this Empress energy where you're working on yourself, you're actually celibate, you know, you're not juggling other people. You're deciding to take your power back. Yeah, this is divinely by God, okay? With the higher fun, also could be someone coming in with an apology. You have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Souls and the Nine of Wands. So you could have people who have similar stories like you or some that might be able to help you or want to be able to connect with you. Uh, trust me, I think this is something that the divine is going to start showing you, this community, this group, okay? Nine of Wands could also mean time to... Um, this is a, it could have been a very player energy, like just not good for you. And you guys are very guarded right now. Yeah, but I see you guys very beautiful and truthful and building integrity and stuff like that. Higher fun could also be marriage. You could actually could be married if you're, you know, it's just energy. But I feel like you both have similar stories and i feel like there's some type of connection or marriage or celebration coming in too okay yes, for some leos other ones you have the king of pentacles in reverse and the four of cups in reverse 
seven of cups yeah a lot of you are letting go of or some of you are going through it some type of karma or situation right now Somebody's coming in with a chair card, but they just might be holding secrets or their secret is that they are all, they have a very, very intense, they're passionate about you, like, like they really like you. If they're not together with you or if they are with you, be careful, this might be like, more, like the, the, I feel like the feelings are more deeper than they let seem. Yeah, yeah, it will lead to, like they want to marry you, this. <laughs> Be careful who you marry to because that's gonna be for life, right? Because you have the wheel of fortune in reverse. This is somebody experiencing bad karma right now, so then you might be dragged into this bad karma without even wanting to be. Ooh la la. Yep, there's some type of communication, an opportunity, a job coming in February, which is good. So if you've been looking for other jobs or other things, you know. It's a good thing. Yeah, it could be this emperor, but what's his energy? Mm, okay, he's letting go. Okay, he's healing. From a lot of conflict. Yeah, he wants... Okay. Somebody coming in offering you um, some good... Yeah, an ace of pentacles. It could be also like a hand of God, like giving you a blessing, an opportunity for healing and going through this. You know what I'm saying? And it could be this emperor that is healing right now, going after really dealing with very complex situations. And yeah, I think he thinks you're his soulmate, right? So whoever is communicating. But then again, use your intuition, okay? You're very passionate. Let's do this star. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody was dealing with a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. A gold digger. Gold digger. A hoe. A money hungry. Yeah, walking away from that shit. Good for you. Good for you. That's what you have to do. <laughs> like, it looked like, yeah, you were coming to the age and then you're just like, okay, no, not for me good for you this is a good <laughs> this is a blessing okay especially you decided to heal yourself from this situation with this toxic thing yeah and celebrate yeah you know the divine has something store for you you're gonna have a could be a new relationship new marriage this is somebody who will bring ten of pentacles to you like generational wealth family or this person could have a family already take it how it resonates but yeah yeah Reciprocity, a lot of passion. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you choose the other person or somebody else that's coming, yeah, this person's gonna bring a lot of tower moments and bad karma, okay? And then you have to start all over again. Oh la la. The sun card, there's a ten of wands. Yeah, you're coming out of uh, of something very, very draining, very difficult, very bur burden, right? Like you really are not in that mental prison anymore. Or it could be a spell was broken that you had by this, you know, pentacles in reverse, huh? It could be that. That's what the judgment card and something has been revealed to you guys, some type of truth. someone's victory and they're not using their intuition there's a lot of secrets but now they want to come in offer you some type of love offer but it's a fucking lie it's just to keep you mentally strapped there's somebody in your energy who doesn't want to see you succeed doesn't want to have you moving on from them okay so watch out for that there's that energy that's going around a lot, like a lot of karmics are into that, like they're just trying to stop people from being together, doing weird, fucked up shit because they're pathetic as fuck. They're just ridiculous. But don't mind those stuff. You do you. Work on yourself. Don't let this fucking shit control you. Fuck it. 
be fearful, okay? That's what it is, it's just control. People are just trying to control you for something that you're working on, right? That's what it is. Okay, let's see what are your messages. But first I wanna do the angel numbers. I don't know, I like that you guys can see it randomly, the angels communicate with you. But yeah. Yeah, 30 and 3 actually came up in your page, but angels, what are the numbers? Oh, that already pops up in 18. Okay. Okay, so 15 and 9. Okay. Again, compassion came in reverse. It's time to be compassionate to yourself and to others and your planning. Okay um also nine could mean also like you know uh almost completed almost done something that you've been working on is almost there okay so it's time to be more patient and more compassionate with yourself okay definitely feel that to say that <laughs> all right 15 could mean something your love for others is powerful and you are able to spread your gifts of support far and wide. You are curious and social nature brings you in contact with a variety of people, all who will benefit from your warm, heartfelt word of wisdom. I am wise. Yes. Nine, it's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the creator, the greater good, and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. I am compassionate. I love that. And yes, 18, you are both open-minded and open-hearted, and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. I'm kind, I'm kind hearted. That's really nice. All right, so let's see what the, the, the universe, <laughs> the universe has your back, has your back. Yes, it does. Okay, it's time to believe in this, I feel like. A lot of you, you know, don't really have that inner strength anymore because all the difficult things that you have had to deal with that you think that you're not, you know, not good enough or you know what I'm saying? You're, it's not true, okay? You're good enough and you're very wise and you're capable of being compassionate to yourself, to others and your planet or whatever it is that you're working on, okay? Even if the you've been hurt and backstab and deceive and betray and have a lot of envious and jealous people but the fact that you are aware and then you walk away from all this stuff and you're not investing that energy anymore you have decided that you'd rather heal and not be around this negative vibes and all these things tap yourself on the back yeah see universe has your back okay <laughs> seriously yeah river river of blessing releasing constraints yeah Something has been released, or that's something that you're going to work on on this new moon, like just releasing fear, doubt, toxicity, things that no longer serve me. You know what I'm saying? Create like a nice mantra for this new moon, okay? It's really gonna help you out. All right, let's see the journey. Okay, that's good. Right in reverse. But remember, not too much pride can also be a problem, okay? So it has to be balanced. But yes, too much pride can be a problem and can be catastrophic also to move on with your life and do things in a, you know? I love myself and I see myself in everyone. But it's just, this was in reverse, okay? So the message is like, it's time to love yourself. It's okay to, um, while you're working with certain things, uh, it's not, selfish to work on your mental health work on your self-care creating boundaries especially with people who are always taking and taking okay so i feel like having a little bit of pride is not so bad and i feel like you feel guilty for for releasing these things that no longer serve you and feeling like you know what i'm saying and also you're looking into why 
you know, I need to be more compassionate with myself at the same time because I probably was also in that prideful energy, you know what I'm saying? Or a lot of you that are in that energy, you know, you're really understanding that it needs to be some type of balance, right? Yeah, Shamuel, beginnings. Yeah, that's what you guys are working on. And beginnings, new things, uh, working differently, doing things differently, not going with the norm. Seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. Okay, so this was in reverse. So a lot of you, I feel like, be careful that people don't take you for granted, okay? I feel like with a seven of, which is the seven of wands. Again, it came out in the other deck. Which for me, it sounds like more like, not having spiritual protection or something like that or this could be the other person but i feel like a lot of you are working on beginning right like bringing this to the other side so i feel like in order for this to switch into this position to be again in a line and being like spiritually protected and stuff like that i feel like you have to yeah, I feel like defend your beliefs and decisions, then your ground, choose your battles wisely. Like, that's also too, like, I feel like you guys have been fighting to defend what you need to say. Like, talk, and, and it's, a, it's a must too, because you have a lot of people who, they have taken you for granted, for sure, and have kind of projected their traumas into you, Leos. Yeah, star mother, how can you mother... How can you mother yourself? Yes. This is something that you're going to begin on this February for some of you. Like, just really, how can you nurture yourself? You definitely have to let go of some really toxic situation for sure. Could be last year. Yeah, the sun. Some of you are walking away. Or With the sun card, it really reminds me of again new beginnings but also like everything is becoming illuminated right like radiant and you're working on this inner happiness inner joy right now yeah your hard work is paying off this is for some of you some of you that are doing this work and doing this healing and how can you you know self-care and deal with really intense situation that has happened in the past how can you heal yeah surrender to trust Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Yes. The more you heal yourself, the more it becomes like, there's like this inner inner confidence that nobody can take away from you. Like, look at this card. Like, I want you to see how she's like holding the cup and then she has this animal in the back, you know, just kind of protecting her. And I feel like you are being protected it's just this other person is not okay and you have to trust that you are protected that you're divinely guided okay that person whatever they're doing or sending or stuff it's not working it's not gonna work out okay right now what divine wants you to do is to work on yourself hear yourself be more compassionate know that you're wise and you're beginning a new journey right now that is going to pay off it's going to be very very yeah very Look at that cup, like you're feeling your cup. You're working on yourself. You're working on that inner light that it just comes from within you. And you're trusting the divine. You see, she's praying, you know, she's connecting more to nature, which is good. Yeah, sacred chakra, letting go, that's it. You're letting go of all these beliefs, all these things, all the things that doesn't serve your people, places, environment, you know, it's just not, not into that. And that's growth, you know, you're growing. We all have different stages of growth. And right now, this is your stage, which is, this is for some of you, some of you are not. But this is literally somebody who has been through very difficult situation and they're ready to trust to new beginnings. Trust, you know, continue defending their beliefs because I feel like this person is kind of defending what they're doing in a way because I guess it's out of the norm or something like that. But I will say, keep going. Don't, don't let, trust that, angels and ancestors are guiding you in the right pray, uh, path okay trust okay letting go 
I release repressed or trapped emotions and their associated beliefs with ease and grace. Where appropriate, I let go of those people and situations that per per pertinent, hurt, and unease. Yeah, that's when you were at, like not feeling safe. And I think this is what it's saying. I release my investment in staying safe and stuck. I surrender. Again, there's so much surrender and trust. Trust and allow the light to guide me. I release. That's really nice. I like this reading. <laughs> I don't want to leave Leo. There's a nice peace energy though, because you have, I feel like you think that you haven't any blessings or that you haven't found this inner peace or that you're not protected. I feel like there's so much, you know, it's really that time for self-care. It's really that time to fill up your own cup and trust and trust that you're divinely guided, okay? That things might be rocky a little bit and might not work out and people might be against you and, you know, hateful and jealous and doing stuff behind your back. But at the end of the day, the, the only thing you can control is yourself. You can't control other people. So right now, what you can control is really taking care of yourself, healing, doing the self-care, doing the work, shadow work, inner work, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? so leo that's what i have for you <laughs> thank you so much uh yeah yeah i just feel really this inner peace that you're building and i don't think you should be ashamed for it i think you should be just you compassionate loving kind okay just trust yourself i think because it is going to work okay i feel like some of you needed to hear that <laughs> okay Bye, guys. See you next time. <laughs>